Hello, my lovelies. All right, we are painting, or I, I'm sorry, should say, I'm painting a portrait on a cake, but not a full on portrait, more of an outline with a little bit of color. First step is I just print out the picture that's needed. And to make sure I basically have the guideline there, I'm using a toothpick and kind of outlining, pressing into it so that it can create an indentation into the fondant itself. So this is fondant cake. And now I'm basically just working with Air um, AmeriColor food coloring gel, adding some water. I use gel because the airbrush colors are very liquidy and I don't want it running when I'm using it. You just gotta be careful not to have it too much paint on your paintbrush with water, otherwise it will run and it's very hard to fix once you put it on the cake. So this is very, anxiety filling i guess because you have to really be careful and you kind of can't tell but i'm shaking i always shake i don't know why so i have to hold my hand steady so basically here i'm just outlining the cake outlining the the lines that i have on the cake and creating the portrait I'm gonna add a little bit of color in which I just basically color the eyes and she has a light kind of honey color eyes so I'm adding brown around the rims and I will then kind of lighten that up with some water so I make sure not to paint the whole iris in and then I add some water to kind of lighten that part up and then I will add two white dots for the reflection on her eyes as well. Doot, doot. 
and then doot, doot. I know you probably didn't need that sound effect, but it was nice to add in there. Now I'm going to work on the hair, and that's the other extra bit of color that I usually add onto these kind of portrait cakes. So she's kind of got also honey colored hair with uh, some darker areas. So I just use a mixture of brown, light brown, and black. I'm kind of just giving the outline there. Now I'm not going to fully color in the top of her hair because she actually is wearing a flower band or a rose band around her hair. And this is a little girl if you haven't figured it out but she has a rose band around the top of her hair and i'm going to put actual real roses to kind of imitate the picture Alright, so I use straws to insert the roses in so that the actual stem of the rose doesn't touch the cake itself, just to be a little bit more sanitary and that they can eat it. And I'm basically just going to align it with her hairline, as well as add some leaves in there, some petals, just so that it can look prettier. 